hey, if weed is working for you, if you think weed is the most positive thing in the world and you have zero consequences as a result of smoking weed every day, you're more creative, your relationships are better, your, your goals are all accomplished and you feel on top of the world smoking weed every day, this is definitely not for you. If on the other hand, you're like me and you're sick and tired of the consequences of weed and you don't want that in your life anymore, you want to live a more meaningful, purposeful life, keep watching. You might get something out of this. Yee! Stop romanticizing weed. Stop it. Stop. I smoked weed every day for about 28 years, and then I quit for 13. And about the last three of those 13, I started to romanticize it. I was going through difficult times in a relationship, ended up going through a divorce, and when I was going through the divorce, I was depressed. I was down. I, uh, I had to face some truths about myself that I didn't like looking at. And this self-loathing just kept welling up inside of me. And I kept fantasizing about getting a break with some weed. I thought, what's the problem? A little vacation from myself. A little, ah, just to like take the edge off like normal people do. I romanticized my way right back into smoking weed again. And the first two hits were, were profound. They really were. Oh, it was just so, so many epiphanies of letting go and spirituality and, and creativity. And, and my body felt so good. And the music sounded so good. And I loved it. And then I was hooked again. Every day. And my life, the denial that it was a problem came back. And the consequences and the avoiding dealing with things came back. And the loneliness of not having real communication with people. I couldn't communicate on weed. Yeah, when I was stoned with my buddies, we could, you know, talk about deep stuff. But it wasn't real heart-to-heart, -heart, genuine, hey, this is who I really am in my deepest core. I just got, and I ended up getting so lonely and isolated again. And I was saddened. I did that for eight months. And... Then I, I, I hit a bottom smoking weed. I wasn't doing any other drugs. I wasn't drinking. It was just weed. And by the end, I was only taking one hit a night. But I'd become so isolated. I was so alone. And so chronically weed depressed. Which only a weed depressed person knows. If you know that feeling, good. Remind yourself of that feeling when you romanticize weed. It's tricky. If I could smoke weed every once in a while, I would do it. Sure, I tried that for 28 years. I kept trying. It was a lie. I can't smoke weed. I, I was watching this guy talk the other day, and he was talking about that th they can't grow trees in biodomes because there's no wind to signal the trees to grow their roots deep. And weed is like a bit of a biodome. When the wind blows, instead of growing your roots deep, you smoke weed and avoid it and get a ah ooh dude ah music ah looks into my creative ideas and don't follow through on shit again if you watch this far you that's not the case for you that you're a brilliant artist on weed stop romanticizing it i don't want to smoke weed 
and that's really the question you have to ask yourself. You know, since I've gotten off weed, my the winds of life blow. And I've got to have a relationship with myself. I can't run from myself with weed. And when I do that, I process the things inside of me that need to be processed. The self-pity, the need for validation, the existential loneliness that comes up. If I smoke weed and it goes away, that stuff doesn't heal. But if I don't fall into the trap of romanticizing smoking weed and process it and face it and feel it and pray and be honest with myself and learn to give and help other people with with the process of facing those things in me, life takes on a whole new meaning. It's so much more rich and valuable without romanticizing and falling prey to being a victim of smoking weed again. And it's really not weed. It's the person, it's becoming the person that needs weed to feel good and to have peace of mind and to feel creative and to feel connected. It's not the weed. It's becoming the person that needs weed. So that's what I got. Stop romanticizing weed. Life is really good, man, when you, when you face those things you're trying to avoid and you live on the beam of meaning and purpose and genuine honesty with yourself. Yee! <laughs> all right. Hope you got something out of that. You know what to do. I appreciate all the comments that you guys leave. So cool. I forgot who left this comment to, to do this video. Thank you so much, though. It's a great idea. And it's a topic that needs to be talked about. Right on. Much love. Peace. You. See you next time.